I'm going to get into sort of my uh, my magic formula for the query letter. But before I do, I want to just run through some of the common mistakes. Um, you know, call them. I guess you could call them pet peeves for me personally. But they're also um, what I see as as things that are going to make me um, exit out of the pitch um, or say no, turn it down right away. Um, one is querying the wrong agent. Do your research. Um, if I get a query for someone who is working on a children's book, for example, children's books, they're great. I don't do them. I don't know them. It's not my area of expertise. It's plainly available like on the website and my various pages. Um, and so no one is going to be the one who convinces me that I need to start doing them. If I get a pitch for that, it's just going straight to the trash. So um, find the right agents. It's hard. It takes time, but find them. Um, and don't send to anyone who you think, well, maybe I'll convince them. They seem so interesting. Let me convince them to work on this genre. It's not going to work. They're just going to delete it. So don't do that. Um, another common mistake is, is not following the rules. These rules can seem arcane and annoying, and every agency literally has a different submission process. Um, you know, usually they're there for a reason. Um, they're there to sort of maintain a sort of boundary between the, the 200 folks a month who are querying someone and that person. Um, it, it's because an agent knows what they want to see in a pitch in order to evaluate it. Um, follow the rules. If that means, um, you know, attach, send an attachment, send the attachment. If that means, you know, my agency uses this sort of annoying form submission, um, don't, don't seek out my personal email address and email me, just use the form, right? So follow, follow the rules. Um, it's a quick way to sort of annoy um, someone um, if you don't, um, just as probably in your own work lives, if someone doesn't contact you the right way, or they shoot you a text um, and you don't know them, they're, you're going to be annoyed too, right? Um, this one's sort of silly, being too informal in how you address the agent. Um, think of this as a professional, um, potential professional relationship. Um, I certainly have clients who I'm friendly with who I'll text, but um, you know, I've gotten some really weird queries. Um, I've gotten folks who say, um, you know, I saw your face on your website and you, you seem like you're not jaded yet by the publishing world. So that's why I reached out to you. Or, um, you know, it's like, hey, bro, uh, you know, like there, there are certainly any number of ways to be sort of a little, don't be creepy is the subtitle for this one. Um, but don't be informal, right? Like have some sort of level of formality, respect. It doesn't have to be a dear sir or madam. Um, but you know, you're talking to a stranger, um, you're talking to a potential professional connection. Um, don't, don't, you know, be too informal, um, is all I'll say. It's okay. Like I have folks who sometimes will look me up and say, oh, Hey, I see you're a writer too. That's great. Um, that's fine. That's totally cool. But, um, yeah, don't, don't be weird is, is number three. 